Greetings collectors and welcome to today's retro game review. Today we're going to be using an old Sega system to play an even older set of Sega games. Have your coins ready as we're off to the home arcade to play Sega Ages Volume 1 for the Sega Saturn. The 80s and early 90s were a boom period for Sega. I was lucky enough to be born just at the right time to grow up to experience a monumental shift in what gaming was and what it would become. No stranger to success, Sega ran riot during this period. Altered Beast, G-Lock, Golden Axe, Hang On, Zaxxon and many more delighted the arcade goers of the day. Sega had found the winning formula in the arcade. It was then a case of bringing that into the home with Sega Master System and the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis, recreating these arcade classics in the home. Whilst most games were remade for the 8-bit and 16-bit home platforms, they were not arcade perfect. Being cartridge based, it was inevitable that the digitised speech was at times compromised, layers of parallax scrolling reduced and the number of sprites also lowered to match the hardware capabilities. Despite these necessary changes, I really enjoy these home conversions, especially the Mega Drive Genesis editions. Time passed though. By 1995, 2D was out and it was all about the polygons. Virtua Fighter, Virtua Racing, House of the Dead and Sega Rally became the new darlings of the arcade. It was another bumper crop of games for Sega and proof that the arcade was where they were at their strongest. Sega hadn't forgotten their roots. The 16-bit home console era had meant that games were converted into a home release, essentially remade. The dawn of the Sega Saturn though meant that Sega could now more faithfully port their back catalogue. Rather than remaking games, a port enabled original code and graphics to be reassembled with some minor adjustments. It was this process that allowed Sega to really bring the arcade home with its first nostalgia-packed entry of Sega Ages Volume 1. The compilation features Afterburner 2, Space Harrier and Outrun, three of the best from the golden age of Sega's arcade empire. For the purposes of this review, I won't be covering the games in detail as they deserve to be revisited individually in their own episodes. I will give you a high level view though. Firstly, Afterburner 2. This is a really solid start to the compilation. The graphics are crisp and the music really delivers the arcade experience you're looking for. I'd forgotten just how good this game was. It's fast and frantic and sits head and shoulders above your average flight sim fighter. Covering oceans, day-night cycles, various enemies, this is a real treat from the past. Second on our list is Space Harrier. Now I'm a bit of a Space Harrier addict. You may have seen my coverage of Space Harrier on the Sega Game Gear recently. I also have great memories of Space Harrier 2 on the Sega Mega Drive. As you step out onto the planet of Moot in Space Harrier though, it brings it all back. This is proper gaming. This arcade to Sega Saturn version is spot on. It's big, it's bright, it's relentless and if you close your eyes, you're in that 1980s arcade again. Space Harrier really sets the bar for me with home conversions. Fighting dragons, running at high speeds and weaving through scenery. It makes you realise just how lucky we were to live through a time when gaming came of age. After far too long on Space Harrier, I went on to our last game, Outrun. It's been many years since I sat in the arcade machine, but I'm well versed in the Sega Mega Drive edition of the game. Instantly, it's that same transformative experience. Select your radio station and then it's out into the endless road in your Ferrari. Outrun is reasonably challenging, but it is most definitely fun. You realise why the compilation was needed. Just look at the detail and sprite count in the scenery. This is just pure arcade gold. Although you can get conversions of Afterburner 2, Space Harrier and Outrun for the Sega home consoles, this arcade port version of the games just lifts things up to another level. I'm lucky enough to own a full-sized arcade machine collection. I have Sega Titan chipsets, Standard Jammer, the Neo Geo MVS system and even a Sega 8-bit setup. I'm no snob when it comes to gaming, but I do enjoy the feel of real hardware running the real original code where possible. It's difficult to explain fully, but it just feels right and genuine. By all rights, I shouldn't really be enjoying Sega Ages on the Sega Saturn as just another port. So what do I think of Sega Ages Volume 1? 
For me, it's an absolute smash success. It's the attention to detail and the love put into the ports that won me over. As much as we could potentially look down on ported games as inferior pretenders to the throne, this compilation is a winner, it's the real deal. There is one more element that really brings the arcade experience home, and that's the Sega Arcade Stick. This is no ordinary arcade stick though, this is the Sega HSS-104 control stick. Not only does the HSS-104 include all of the buttons you would find on a regular pad, including the shifts, you're also treated to a fully adjustable auto fire panel. This allows you to not only turn auto fire off and on for each button, but also adjust the rate of fire. If you're worried about wear and tear, fear not. The HSS-104 is built to last. It's as sturdy a device as I've seen for a mainstream arcade stick release, and the base is of solid metal to give you rigidity and weight. Hook this up to your Sega Saturn and you're really good to go. The build quality is fantastic and oozes nostalgia. Whilst the games do play perfectly on a standard Sega Saturn gamepad, older generations of gamers will get a real sense of stepping back into the arcade. The game being a CD-based format, you also get a high-quality CD soundtrack on the disc. So next time you're on your way to work, you can chill out with the soothing sounds of OutRun, or tear through the city to the throbbing soundtrack of Space Harrier. It's not often I enjoy game compilations. Usually I have all the original sources. Outside of buying the original arcade machines though, this is about as close as you will ever get to the real experience. For around £15, or less than $20, US you can own this nostalgic game set. The UK PAL edition is well presented in a hard case format, and comes with a neat manual and standard Sega Saturn CD. Sega have been in my gaming life for about as long as I can remember. This compilation really does the subject matter justice. Even small details such as the Sega Ages skull in the box artwork is a nod to Sega's glory days. Whether you're a Nintendo, Commodore, Sinclair, Oric, Atari, ColecoVision, or more recent brand of collector, I think we can all set our differences aside and acknowledge that Sega really did once set the bar for arcade games. The 1980s arcade may no longer be with us, however, their memory lives on in this first-rate compilation. Hello again, I hope you enjoyed today's show and thank you for the view. Remember, you can always comment, like, subscribe and find us on the social media sites below. Happy collecting!